What do you think about the TV? That's not like it. Where'd you get it? Uh, it's one of the mom ones, big expensive Walmart ones, right? <laughs> big expensive Walmart ones. <laughs> it's actually we've actually had it for a decently long time, but it's not been up here. I, what so, do you think about the table? I like it. It's it's a uh, Bible School Seven, big black table, about thirty bucks on Amazon. Pretty sturdy. I measured the table because I was going to buy a TV, uh-huh. and it was thir- thirty two inches wide. The table was. So I was like, okay, I just got to get the legs to be 32 inches wide. And then I came back with a 50-inch TV. And the legs are... What size is this? That's a 50-inch. The legs the legs are way out here. It does not even fit close to being on the so table. That's why we got the boost bottles. Yeah, we're sitting on boost bottles. Okay. We couldn't find the legs. Yeah, we couldn't find them. Even if we did find the legs, it wouldn't help us any. Unless we set it on a piece of wood. So are you in control of this? I'm in control of that. See? Let me do something right here. See, I can... Uh, I can pull it over yeah. and then pull it back. <laughs> Who's that guy? I don't know. We may talk about him here in a minute. But yeah, I mean, um, he- welcome to the podcast, guys. We're we're here with our, I don't know. What camera am I looking at? You can look at, so you mainly have two. If you really want to say something important, you'll look at that one. Okay. But that one right there is kind of just looking at all of us. So does it look good, Ethan? All right, good. Well, we're probably ready to go then. Anyways, this is Adam. He's one of the first people to like actually be on my channel a lot more believe, than once i believe it was four years ago it uh, was a long time ago Ken i've actually on a snapchat story and i was like where are you going you're at the riverbank yeah and that's like right next to my house i was like can i come <laughs> yeah was it do you remember how it all started yeah like that first time i remember the first video oh i remember the first video too the, do you remember how the how toxic we, fish yeah do you remember how we set it up to actually do it together i just snapchatted you really had you watched my videos at all or just because they were definitely weren't big. No, you was like not even a hundred thousand. You was like No, I was way, way down there. It was a long time Actually, ago. Actually, Caleb Powers was the first person. Yeah. He wasn't necessarily he did the, the first Q&A one. With him. He, he yeah, he was five hundred and forty three subscribers Q&A. I think it was four hundred and ninety three. And then that next day he was like over a thousand. Yeah, that's crazy. And then I was going down what? Probably put something on Snapchat about going down to the creek and I then you so. recognize the creek. And then I don't know. Was I driving back then? Yeah, I'd hope so. I ain't sure ain't walking that far. But yeah. A lot of things people don't, they don't know about me and you. I know. We went to That's school That's what together, we're going right? to talk about. Oh, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, maybe. Nah, you're good. Anyways, this is Adam. This is the first... He's not the first person to be in my videos, but he's the first person to be in there a lot. And he's probably one of the top people that's been in the videos besides me. He's not been in me. I'm not Abram. He is not Abram. There's three... There's... Two people that get confused a lot, and it's Adam and Abram. But they're nothing alike. It's just their name. That is <laughs> that here. This is they're almost complete opposites. This one oh, yeah. is Adam. He is. He is uh, not the one with the curly hair. I'm not the smart one either. Okay, yeah. And he. Um, what else? I don't speak Hebrew. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Adam anyway, cuts hair, not speak Hebrew. Yeah, Adam is a, now a barber, but we'll talk about that here in a minute. Anyways, Adam, tell us, in your words, who are you relative to the audience, if you know what I mean? I'm sometimes the cameraman and the uh, one that don't know how to shoot a gun oh. or pull back a bow. Uh-huh. So I'm basically a city boy, but I just live close to Kendall. I'm, you know, clout chasing. <laughs> we actually have one of the questions a fan question is are you a country boy and i'm like no no he's not a country boy <laughs> he's like he's in the middle of kentucky but he's in he's in a small i town. live in the city of no I, the main road yeah i guess it is a it's a it's a weird balance <laughs> he's, he's definitely not from the city but i don't know if he's from the country not either oh yeah i would say yeah you from there, just your state of mind's not there. Right. I don't know. Anyways, let's go back and, uh, did you introduce yourself? Oh, yeah, my name's Adam Lee. Yeah. Anyways, he was, I feel like we've said the same thing five times. He was one of the first people in the videos. He also is now a barber. Full time. That's why I'm never in videos anymore. Yeah, that's a popular question we get. Why is Adam not in videos anymore? It's because he has a job. Full time job that I can't get away from. And even before he did that job, he had full time school. Busy life. Don't get old, kids. 
So you wanted to be a barber, and then a lot of people don't know this because I sure didn't. You have to like actually go to certification school to actually legally cut hair. Tell us about that. I went to uh, Campbellsville University. It's in Somerset. Um, you have to go fifteen hundred hours. But during COVID, it got shut down for a while. So I was about like 900 hours, or I was maybe even lower than that when we got shut down. So that sent us home for two months, and then we finally got to go back. And I graduated in March, and then I started cutting hair in April. So, What is that, three months? What? That you've been cutting hair? Yeah, I've been cutting hair for three months now. That's crazy. And how long was you in school? How many months, roughly? A year and four months. So you... You had to go to school for over a year. To get a piece of paper. That says, that says you're allowed, I'm allowed to cut, to cut hair. hair. When I was cutting hair in my house for a year. Are you allowed to say that? I don't care now. I was one of your... It is, it is, I was cutting Kendall's hair in my basement. Like <laughs> like a dungeon haircut. It was literally... Listen, I gave him some bad haircuts to get good ones. So. Yeah. I'm his guinea pig. And still, t- still pretty much. He comes to me and says, just do whatever you want. Yeah, I go and I'll be like, I don't care. Do whatever you want to. He's like, can I try this? I'm like... I don't know what that means. Why ain't sure. you gave him a mullet yet? I mean, that's, when I go live on Instagram, like when I'm cutting hair, I literally see, um, give Kendall a mullet. Is Kendall there? Can you can you cut Kendall's hair? Um, where's Kendall? Like, I don't know where Kendall is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at work. He's up here making podcasts. Yeah, probably doing something better than I am. Probably out there smoking in the heat, dripping the sweat, trying to chase a chicken down. Yeah, Burning got, down the high wall. Pretty much. But, uh, yeah. I think, I, I think they think I live with you. I don't know. They must. But it's okay. Yeah. Everybody thinks we're brothers. I'll just claim it as it. cousins. I don't either. <laughs> we'll just say we're cousins. You're my cousin, too, I guess. We're, we're brothers from another mother. Yeah. Nah, not like that. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways. Um, um, yeah. I was, I don't know if I was your first haircut. Your dad was probably. I was one of the very, Actually, Jacob Engel was my first haircut. Yeah. First ever? Yeah. So have you ever have you ever uh, messed anybody up bad? Yeah, I've gaps them in my basement. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I was doing a skin fade on him, and I was just, I, the haircut was done. I was detailing, so I got my, my so th- this is my comb and this is my clipper, and I'm just you know fixing it up. Mm-hmm. Well, my clipper went underneath my comb, <laughs> and it, it didn't have a guard on it, so it was like <laughs> it was straight bald. And I said, I looked at him and was like, I gapped you. He was like, No, you didn't. I was like, No, I gapped you, and I'm like, my face goes pale. Because I had never gapped anybody before, and it was up high. It's like right in here, and I can't fix it. So I was like, I'm just going to take your, I'm going to give you a high and tight. That's the only way I can hide it. And so I gave him a high and tight, but I ain't seen him since. <laughs> Did you make him pay for it? Of course. No <laughs> services are free. Dude, did, did it look good afterwards? I think so. I what about any... Well, I just don't think it's what he wanted, so... Yeah. And obviously, it's not what he wanted, but... It's high and tight's like... What I get? Up. It's a military hair. Military. Yeah, which just skin fades. Well, it's what it's what I give you sometimes, but right up wait. Here. <laughs> what about anyone else? Have you ever messed anybody else up in any other ways? Uh, nothing major. I mean, so we had a guy at the shop the other day. He was like, "I want a two on top, but I like you." Yeah. So he like he wanted a two on top, so just short everywhere, bangs and all. Well, um, I said, "Now, are you sure you want me to take your bangs though, too? Because you're not gonna have any bangs after this." And I asked him three times that. And he said, yeah, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. So I go, vroom. He says, you left me some bangs, didn't you? I said, no, I asked you three <laughs> times. How long ago was that? Two, a month and a half ago. Has he been back? Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you have, what, rough, what's the average haircut uh, duration? Like, how often does someone usually come back? Two well, weeks? It just depends. I mean, the old men come back about a month. When we got really? the young guys that come in about every two weeks, three weeks. What's my schedule? Whenever I tell you to come get a haircut. Pretty much. I can go as short or as long as I need He's to. He's due right now. Am I? Yeah. I usually don't go until it takes too long to dry off in the shower. Right. That's, that's how I know I need a haircut. Is whenever it's taking a little bit too long to dry my hair off in the shower. No, you're, you can go right now. No. Like when get, you come out. I get my just... haircut every week. Well, I'd say so because you're in barber school. Right. I'm the only barber that wears a hat. Which means... I don't know. I'm too lazy not to just to fix it every morning. I don't fix mine. I don't either. That's why I cut it short. But I mean, Did got, you say you're the only barber that wears a hat? I'm probably one of them that wears a yeah, hat every day. Yeah, because that's true. Because, I mean, if your whole job is cutting to hair. To fix hair. You probably want your hair to look, to look good. good. right. And you don't care? Or just 
don't care. I just don't. I don't care. Funny thing. He went to barber school, right? He also started into cosmetology school. Did you know what that was? So I didn't know what barber and co- I didn't know the difference between barber and cosmetology. So I, I I started in cosmetology right after I graduated high school, and so I walk in the first day I'm wearing all black scrubs, and I walk in I'm the only guy in the class, and so I had to make friends with like other girls, but that didn't last long because I only stayed there three months. I said I gotta get out of here. I ain't rolling perms all my life and dying hair. I didn't pick up a pair of clippers for that th- those three months. Really? Really. That's why I was burning you off, because I didn't know what I was doing when we first started. <laughs> Give us a little uh, description of what cosmetology versus barber is, because I really don't know, except cosmetology is not a barber. That's so, all I know. So cosmetology is mainly like a girl thing. They, you know, they do the nails, the perms, the dyeing. They can't use a straight razor like a barber can. They're not allowed? They're not allowed. They're not licensed. So they're, they're not, legally they're, not allowed. They're legally, legally not licensed to use a straight razor. And, but they wax, they can do everything else, but they can't have a barber pole. They can't be named. Say, say, say I'm a cosmetologist. I can't be named one-eyed Jack's barbershop because a barbershop is only licensed to a barber. Hmm. So I would have to name it one-eyed Jack's salon and I couldn't have a barber pole. <laughs> What's the barber pole? Oh, uh, the barber pole represents like the blue on the barber pole represents the veins. The white represents the bandages. And then the red represents the blood because barbers back in the day used to be barber surgeons. What does that mean, barber surgeons? Uh, they they did like dental dental work. Here's his logo. Y'all may not be able to see it too good because it's not super big, but you understand the idea of a barber pole. It's so like, like, yeah. Let me pull this up another one real quick. Y'all keep talking while I try to pull this up. I didn't know that's what a barber pole was. Yeah, so like barbers used to be surgeons. They like they would on your mouth and stuff. Adam, as much as I like you, I. I don't want you near my mouth with a surgical oh, I, I instrument. Don't want it either. <laughs> I can't zoom in too great, can I? Anyways, this is a barber pole. So, like, I legally couldn't have a barber pole? Right, because you're not a barber. I can't have one? I mean, you can have one, but you can't work in a business that has a barber pole. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> right. Kendall Gray that's, Outdoors so with like, a barber pole? The white is the bandage. Yeah. The red is for the blood, and the blue is for the veins. How, how much is a barber pole? I found mine cheap. I got a About pallet for forty dollars. Expensive as you want it. Yeah, you can get it. It's big... great. Do you have to? You probably don't have to sign anything that makes sure as you're a barber, do you? No, I mean you got to give a lot of money to the government. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. They all have their hand in the pot. Yeah. They so want, like they want money for the license. Want money for your shop license. It's every month, every year. So whenever you first started cosmetology, did you think you was going to do both? Or did you think that just cosmetology was going to be enough? Well, when I first started cosmetology, I thought I could just be a barber. Oh. So you thought it'd be the same? Right. Just a different word or something? I didn't know the difference. I didn't know you had to go to barber school to be a barber. Mm. Did you? I mean, I could still cut men's hair as a cosmetologist, but I couldn't use a straight razor. I couldn't. What could you do as a cosmetologist that you couldn't do? Nails, waxing below the shoulders. So are you not allowed to do nails as a... Really? Right. Okay. And you know people do nails just like out of their basement. Right. I can't do eyelash extensions, hair extensions. Well, I probably could do hair extensions, but that's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. Here's your Instagram. We'll look at some of his hair, good haircuts. Right there in the middle, best barber shop. We got voted on that last month. What? How much you have to pay him to get that? <sighs> but I didn't know there was even voting. I didn't know how to vote. I'd have voted either. a thousand they, times. Yeah. I, next year, I think I'm gonna try to get best podcast. There you go. Best <laughs> podcast in Maybe the only podcast. Here's some of his slick haircuts. This is one I did the, the other Which day. Which one's your favorite? Probably that one right now. He's from Atlanta. Atlanta? What's he doing up here? He was in a wedding. So I heard I don't get to cut much eth- ethic hair. And I like cutting that kind of hair. What do you This what's kid your, here. What's got, your most. What? What? This kid here's got the best head in Kentucky to cut. Really? I'll put my. Yeah, I'll put money on it. What's that? Shape? He's got the perfect white scalp, the dark hair. And it's thick. Man. So What's it, a hard... What would you say? So a hard haircut. Yeah. Hard head to cut. Mm, go down. Okay. That man's on there more than once. No. Yeah, because he's got great hair. <laughs> Those... That and... He's not the same Look at guy, this one. Can you click on this? Yes, I can. Look at the big difference I made on this kid. Hey, I don't think he'd ever had a haircut before. That was like a year's worth of growth. And then look. We got him up nice. He's been back a couple times now. You know if he's a fan? He may be watching. He may be. Transformation. When I jacks. When I jack rabbit. Let's see what else we got on here. 
Oh, there he is. There's me. There's the big boy. I was the first official haircut on this Instagram. He's actually got a haircut before we even opened. Yeah, that was before it opened. That's pretty sick. Dang, what a slick cut, he says. Dang, yeah, man. I think I posted the back of it. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's pull it back up. Sorry, guys, I'm not too good at this TV thing. I'm just now figuring it out. Let me know, literally, like 100%. Let me know what you think about the hair. I mean, let me know what you think about the TV in the comments because you guys may have a really good suggestion that I can actually change. So let me know that. This haircut know. is called a taper. Uh huh. Why is that? Because it tapers. Because it goes nothing, like nothing to something. Yeah. And like, if I were to give you a skin fade, I'd start nothing all the way here. I'd go up higher. So uh, all the way around your head, not just your neck. Yeah. I don't know that much about haircuts. I think I got a. I don't have, I'll go down. I think I have a mold on here from back when I. I can show you pictures from when I'm back at school. Okay. Oh yeah, your mullet. I was going to ask you, what in, like, we're in eastern Kentucky, straight up mountains. What is the most popular haircut? A skin fade. Really? Yeah. We get a lot of mullets right now, too. I wish I'd go out of style. Sorry yeah. to break you, achy, breaky heart. Do you, do you like cutting mullets? No. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's still just a mullet. Which feeds what? It's not cool? Dude, they I was mean, cool. If you, if you have a straight mullet, cut it off. If you've got a curly mullet in the back... Like this kid right here. I mean, if you want to go ahead and perm it, click on that one. Yeah. He's got pretty straight hair, so we had the we we permed the back of it oh. to make it look pretty cool. And let's see, Brad did this one. Yeah. I mean, that looks pretty cool with a hat on. But if you're just gonna go with a straight mullet, better stay away. Better stay away. Man, let's see. Um, I think the straight mullet's where it's at because like the mullet is not made to I'm look. Go dirt. It's no, the mullet was not made to look like. New and formal. It's made to be Chevy Camaro, bald eagles flying. Maybe back in the 80s. Dale Earnhardt. No, that's a representation, Dale Earnhardt. Can't do Dale that way. They're making a comeback. They are. I wish I'd go away. I kind of do too. Because, like, again, that's the 80s. Exactly. Don't change the 80s. Hey, flat tops are still in. Really? Yeah. What? What's that? Vietnam? That's pretty, pretty much a high and top military cup. Flat top. Mm -hmm. Are they coming back? There's, I, still there's a lot of old guys that get them. Mm. Still, they still. How old day. is old? They're probably in their seventies, eighties, sixties. I know top? a guy with a flat top. I cut one on Brad the other day. Let's see. Um, so I actually have our first video over here somewhere that I can pull up. Our first video <laughs> was literally this one right here that we did together. And whenever we was talking earlier about how we went, man, this TV needs to figure itself out. It's that one right there. Y'all maybe can't see it the best, but it's called Day Dot. That was three years ago. Very sin It's probably more than three years ago. Let me actually pull it up and see if I can see the exact date on it. What is the date on it? It says January, July 16th. Janu July we'll come up So it's pretty much four years. four years. But yeah, that was a pretty crazy video. There's a backstory on that video. Was there? Yeah. What was the backstory? How they died. How'd they die? You remember. Yeah, I know. The con contaminated oh. water? Yeah, the contaminated water killed them. Wasn't it? Yeah. What was it, really? Didn't we leave them out of the water too long? <laughs> I don't no, know. No, they died when we got them in the bucket. Yeah, I don't think we had enough oxygen for that species. <laughs> they were like zombie but fish. No, I was just fishing there. Didn't really think much about it. Then we looked down, and I was like, dude, it, it says contaminated water. Well, don't we didn't even notice it said contaminated that. Contaminated marine life. That's such. That's really good for thumbnails. How, I mean, how many times have we used that? We use that quite a bit. A lot. Yeah. And I mean, that's a good. It used to be a good spot. That's where we catch the sucker fishes, and we caught the the rock, the crawdad. Oh yeah, the rock. That came was from good. There. It was flooded. That's a good little place. Whenever the layout's nice, mm -hmm. but it's a creek. It's a soft creek, so it I've, always changes. I've yet to see where this is at. Really? I have no idea where that's at. Good. I ain't gonna tell you. It's secret. You go past it. Oh, and hey. also, you know what that that is? What? My TikTok. Yeah. That that spot has a lot of significance. It's in the perfect spot. That TikTok should have never blew up. I had to let a lot of people down. So me and Adam, we came in here. I've actually got this we can pull up too. Let me see how I can pull this over. But this is some of our videos that you just started being in. It's supposed to be. Probably not going to come up. Oh, this ain't oh the paperclip one? Was I in that one? I think you're in quite a bit of them. So we're just going to go through some. Um, I know the first one you was in was They Died. If you see it, let me know. Um, it's probably way after this, actually. 
Yeah. It was anyways. It was They Died. There it is. Right here. They Died. It has 809,000 views. That's pretty good. And it actually blew up for what it was. Then I remember I'm pretty about positive you're in this video, which is about a big snapping turtle. I don't know. I think you... No, you're not, actually. I, think, um, I know I was in that paperclip. You one. are in the paperclip video. You're probably in He Fell In. There's I'm me not in sure. The you're boozled. definitely in the Bean Boozled video. Are you Look in the at, one No where, beard. Are you in the one where I pranked Peanut? Not sure? I'm not sure. I kind of Caleb Mills is in that one. Yeah. I think you're probably in that one, too. Creek Fishing. Creek Fishing. We he's did walking that. in the creek. Yeah. When did the, yep, there, there you are. One dollar spinner. I don't think you're in that one. My first catch cook. That was crazy. We was catching weird bluegill. You remember that? Yeah. And then snapping turtle on a cinco. This is when we first got the snapping turtle was out of the pond. That was crazy. And then Walmart twenty five Walmart dollar whatever challenge. That was a good one. New pellet slinger. I don't know if you're in that one or not. Maybe. Uh, Maybe not. The rod aid fishing challenge. Weird. I remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> I think you may have been in that one. No, you wasn't actually. Buggy's back. Um, minor trapping. That we was mine, that one. wasn't it? Yeah. That was your minor trap, and it was not very good at no. all. So I guess if you guys are wanting to know, minor trapping stainless versus your Walmart black trap. What was that one called? Peter uh, Peterbilt. Jeez. No, the one from Walmart. Oh, I don't know. It's, I can't think of the brand. Yeah, the black ones aren't really that great. We'll say that. Jugging for giant snapping turtles. Used definitely in that one. That was fun, dude. Mm -hmm. We really got on some... I think we got five that day. Yeah, it was in one of those videos where we got... We caught five. We started really getting on to some turtles right here. Like, we go to Adam's Pond, or Adam's Family's Pond, whatever, but we randomly were just trying to catch bass, okay? Started off, good pond, we could go there, we could catch bass, we could catch bluegill, all that good stuff. Well, we was just fishing for bass, and I think... I think it was actually... I think it was the Walmart fishing challenge and then i hooked a Hook. big turtle and i turned it into two separate videos for that same day yeah but it was on it just a plastic worm and then i was like well that's crazy but then we caught two on that same plastic worm so then we're like all right we got to come back so then we came back with hot dogs i think the fat back fat back yeah fat back dude we took a hook plain out just a plain weightless hook put on fat back throw it out you let it sit there it'd go and then you just reel up and there'd be a cat there'd be a turtle there we had no idea what it was when we it first was it up. pretty much infested the first one we actually caught got got, got loose yeah it was it was actually because we it, was looking for a bucket to put it in yeah well so i let it go back and swim back and let it not yeah, so it didn't eat my line yeah, yeah yeah so he actually hooked it and we pulled it up he's like i don't know i think it's just a log i was like because it wasn't moving i was like i keep it on then he rolled up and here comes a turtle that was the first time we've seen a turtle right mm -hmm. And then it was doing this. We didn't know what to do. So we actually, I, I was like, I was like, I, I'll go look for a bucket and Adam hold it. I was like, just let your line out and it can go swim out and then we'll reel it back in. Well, that's okay for catfish or something. But with turtles, we'll they loose. actually have hands and like, they'll actively like grab the hook and take it out of their mouth if you let them hold it too long. So yeah, that one got away. But luckily that pond was literally infested with them. And we got out probably seven in one year and mm -hmm. like three the next year. And then we've since We've not been then, back in a while. Since then, we've never got a bite. Right. We've not got nothing anything. out of the pond. The pond literally died somehow. There was a beaver in it. Someone killed the beaver. It wasn't us. But we took out all the snap turtles, which should have done good. We left all the bass and the turtle disappeared. I mean, the beaver disappeared. And since then, that pond's literally been dead and like pretty much that entire property. Because we went deer hunting and we can't even do anything there. We'll talk about that here in a minute, anyhow. But out of all the videos we've filmed together, which is quite a bit, and a lot of early ones, like these are pretty much three to four years old. Yeah. And all the mostly all the videos Adam's in is in the summer, because during the spring and fall, was it? Yeah, I played uh, ball. Yeah, baseball. So he's pretty much always busy with practice and stuff. But during the summer, we hit it hard. What's your favorite video that we've been in? I like the truck, the uh, pull pond truck bed. Oh, that one was crazy. Let yeah, me see if I can pull one. that one. Almost died. <laughs> that was actually us three. And that you, was great. You literally actually did die. That one was pretty recent, too. That was this summer. No. What? No, that? Two summers ago. Yeah, that's two summers ago. Let's see where it is. Let's see. It was a crazy video, though. We made a pull pond. What's crazy is, yeah. It's all these videos that you made. I've what been. Mean? This, How many I've got? Yeah, this man works. I think I've got over. Back then, 
That was cool. Back then, whenever you first started doing stuff with me, we was making day. I was making daily videos, and it's crazy. <laughs> we was going daily back then. But I also like the uh, the first ever uh, pool ponds. That's what I was about to say. The first ever pool ponds was pretty much all with Adam, and it wasn't that pool pond. It was a little one. It was it was the year before this, I think. I don't know how good y'all can see it. If you can't see it, sorry about that. Uh, we'll try to work on that. But yeah, we started off with one of those little kiddie pool things that we use, now we put chickens in. But yeah, it was. Uh, we learned a lot about ponds and how not to run one. Yeah. We built one. We came back and everything was dead. Then we did it. The, then we redid it the next day and same thing. Everything was dead. We wasn't very good at it, but then we figured it out. We had the smallest one, and we upgraded to the next biggest one. And then we upgraded to the bigger one, which is the biggest one we have right yeah. now. Then this year, well, big one. Twice as big. So I've not it's even like, seen it, have I? No, it's not in here yet. It's like 16 foot round. It's pretty what are you massive. putting in it? I don't know yet. The hardest part about a pull pond is keeping it clean. Yeah. Keeping Free. it oxygenated, too. Yeah. Oxygen's not so super bad, but keeping it clear, that's nearly impossible. Unless you want to work at it, and I like to just let them be natural in a way. What's your favorite video you've been in? You already said that the pull pond. Yeah, the, the no, the, the truck bed pull pond. We oh, had yeah, three yeah. three bluegills in there. I'm begging for him to do it again, but you know, like the big dump truck, mm -hmm. but we put it in the dump truck. It's a lot of water. That's, that, what I was about that's to say. a lot, that's a lot, lot of, water. of water. I think we should just do. If anything, we should do that again. Pool, that was fun. Swimming pool? I yeah. Mean, the truck bed? Yeah. How could we do it? Go oh, to yeah, a Little Caesars? Bought, we just bought a liner. Huh? Remember, we just bought a liner last time. A tarp. Yeah. yeah. Now, I actually did another one, but I didn't put anybody in the back of it. But we have a legitimate bed, truck bed pool pond. Like, it's actually made for that. Really? So, it'll, do, it'll work really good. It was so cold, too. It was very cold. Well, I mean, to get that much water, that's a lot of water. We had, we had to get it straight out of the faucet. Right. Or at Wendy's and, you know, says keep the, somebody said keep the change, and the change is just floating in the water. <laughs> Dollar bills are wet. And yeah, yeah. and they're stuck, like, in the yeah. string, holding the tarp. That was funny. I wish we could pull that video up. Let's do it. Let's try. You two talk about something real quick. I will pull up that video and the moment that you almost died. Talk about something that way, Bill. I think that I think we should definitely do that again. Like go to Little Caesars or something this time. I think we went to Wendy's last time. Yeah, yeah. and we got Frosties, and they was all like just like flying. I got that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then uh, Kendall's like, "You guys all right back there?" And we're like, "Uh, I mean, you've about killed us once." Going up, going up Kendall's Hill was the craziest part, though. Hey, oh I, yeah, or coming into my oh, thing, you actually almost died. I did. Oh, there, right there it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, See, yeah, there, yeah. There's... Truck bed pull upon Wendy. Dude, it actually did good. That's what I'm saying. Dude, I can tell you this, because I remember thinking about it, or watching it. At the beginning, it didn't do very good at all. No. Like, it started it's off really slow. Years. And then truck bed pull upon. I think we can do it again, and do a little bit better thumbnail, and maybe even go out, and, which we did catch the fish, but we should what put if we got you guys in there with, like, catfish? Turtles? No. You turtles. ain't putting me in there with no turtle. No. They're all going to get booted if you do that. Get I ain't touching it. You ain't got to touch it. You just got to run away from it. Uh, no. Let me pull that out. That's a 21 minute video. That thing is massive. What is good, Greg? Oh. Good day. We have the back of the truck. Oh, my we goodness. have a tarp. And we have a few boys that really like pull ponds. And we're going to bring them all three together today. I don't know what's gonna do with the mic. Oh, oh got an ad. remember our kneecaps like hitting the ratchet straps that we forgot under there? <laughs> Let's go. I'll go ahead. Whose ad is this? I don't know who knows. I'll go ahead and skip us to the good part where you almost die. That's my favorite part. He did you twice. Well, I think we got an ex we got an instant replay of it too. Oh yeah, yeah, there oh, yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. It was after we went to Wendy. <laughs> Here play, we're at Wendy's. Play it where our frosties like just getting yeeted. Look at that old oh. shirt. That was an old shirt. Look at me. Yeah, right here, right here. <laughs> <laughs> watch the, watch your frosty. Watch it. This is a funny little montage, the whole thing. Remember we had to turn around because the frosties kept flying? My hair was Somebody dry. throws it. I think Adam throws it right in your face. Right here. <laughs> watch this. What 
Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Then right here, you almost die. We're just dumping out water. We lost a lot of water. They kept looking at us so butt. weird. <laughs> oh, you almost died. I had to catch you right here. <laughs> <laughs> you almost died. You actually almost died. Oh. I did a little road burn. That was crazy. <laughs> Listen, if we hadn't done some crazy, well, not crazy turns, but decent turns to where water got out, you would have. Yeah, yeah. If there had been more water in, you'd probably die. What would you have done? <laughs> he would have died. I don't know. That would hurt. It hurt a lot. A lot of bad things could have happened. Yeah. We didn't think about it, but. We did it anyway. We're here now. <laughs> Somehow. What should we do next time? If we want to do this exact thing, what do we do next time? Go faster. <laughs> I mean, should we put ropes in there? Oh, we might actually tie you guys down. No. That way, if you do fall out, you won't actually like, go under the tires. Tie me down? You gonna drag me down the road? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Fall out? <laughs> I think I'd rather fall out. I think we'll be all right. Just, just uh, that was we'll a be fun okay. Video. My favorite video of us. Um, I think that one was really fun. Um, one of my favorites though. Um, um, I don't know. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good ones. My favorite of you two is like when y'all went fishing and had to like swarp all the flies off from me, and you had to like the oh, fish. Oh, that one was rough. I think I, I actually have that one pulled I think it was up. Like a six minute video, huh? I thought it was like a six minute video too. Let's see. I, yeah, I actually have that one pulled up. Yeah, it was a six minute video. Let me go ahead and pull it up. Uh, five, yeah, six minutes. Right. This one's a good one. There is the creek. It's not big at all, and we're not looking for big manners either. Uh oh, he does spit by snake, dude. Oh my gosh, it's still on I like the leg, socks. dude. That's good. I still got them. Mm -hmm. Something happened. We should use that for bait. <laughs> Probably a horse fly. It's been around here the whole time. It's got me bleeding. No, it doesn't. I got swag. <laughs> Do it. Get the crap out of me. Been here all day. But anyway, Dude, we're going to try our best. Head right down that. Yeah, it ain't over. Stand on the either. top and catch it. There it is. There it is. I seen it. Get the crap out of me. I think you're going to get it. Look at all those. What are they called? Cow patties. Cow dongs. <laughs> Cow dongs. You sound just like Garen Bell when you're saying, bit the crap out of me. It's on your foot, dude. It's <laughs> Look at me doing Fortnite oh. jumps. <laughs> it's up your shorts. Dude. Man. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. 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 Did that get copyrighted? Probably. It's all on your foot. I think it bites you right here. <laughs> Did you kill it? No, hopefully it gets on me. Though. No, you might get on me. It already bit me. What camera was he using? Well, they do the same. <laughs> no, Dude, they're terrible. Your You're getting night up. Where? I don't got it. Got me. Again. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Let me out of this place. This ain't hurt. We're like we're out of here. Bit me again. <laughs> you can hear it. What do we do? Yeah, I got me bleeding. <laughs> Through the sock, too. Well, yeah. The alligator socks are not scaring it. I don't know that. That's vicious. <laughs> I like the video where we ran over the fence. I like the animal we ran over the fence. I don't know. Uh, Blame it again. I'm going to get... I'm going to just leave that guy alone. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> we're, being, we're being harassed. I'll tell you what. I'm going to catch some minnows. You just keep him off. Yeah, I hear you screaming. Uh -huh. You start screaming. Hand me the buckets and bite flies what they are. <laughs> 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 They're me. I know we did this place. I do too. Dude, just. Oh! Ah! <laughs> that should have got way more views. It may be. Ah! Stop! Here we are, Jeff. But I want to try to climb it. Yeah. That man is mad. We gotta get out of here. Oh. You're too tired. Be there! Be there! Hurry! Give it! Hurry! Give it back! Excuse me, Ryan Blake. The poor minners. I don't think we caught any of them. Throw the bucket. What does that mean? That's you. <laughs> we gotta go. Just don't let him get in the truck. Oh my god. Hurry, get in another truck. Okay, now that's. Is me. that a Nerf gun in your truck? I have no idea. Who knows? We gotta go. Just don't let him get in the truck. Oh my god. Hurry, get in yeah, the truck. Yeah, it was. Imagine if he would have gotten in the truck. <laughs>
Actually, we met we met the guy on the road, some guy on the road, and it was like one on the, one on flying around the window. Oh yeah. yeah, he was like flying in. He didn't even know right. anything. He got a surprise. What's up with horse flies? They like actually attack people. Like th- that was that was premeditated. Not even horses there. They're just cows. No, and they like they go after you. Why? I have no. I guess idea. that's their food though. How are flies so brave? You gotta be pretty brave to mess with a human. I mean, they they only live for like a month, so they might as well go out with a bang. They only got twenty four thousand views. No, twenty four hundred, two hundred forty one thousand. Yeah, two hundred forty one thousand. Which I mean, I don't know what the thumbnail was. The thumbnail has it probably wasn't guys, great. Yeah, the thumbnail has a lot to do with videos. Thumbnail and title usually has the most to do with videos. How good they do, and actually how good the video is itself. After this, though, or not necessarily after this, but. What was it like? Um, um, maybe mm, I can't remember if it was quarantine summer, was it? But me and you actually started going hardcore on TikTok. Oh lord! TikTok became a thing, and we started going hardcore. Do you remember that? Yeah. We went hard. We went hardcore, and Adam pretty much blew up. Let me find him. It was. Let's all... see. What was it first? Let me pull up mine first, because mine started. I started doing it on <laughs> TikTok, okay. and Here. then we started Fall making back. new videos. Here, let's just lean forward. There you go. You're good go. now. I can't remember if that was the first TikTok we oh, made. Oh, gosh, for boxing? Yeah, you were guys were <laughs> boxing. I got a full boxing kit, and I never... Me and you actually boxed yeah. some in the basement. Who won? I think it was pretty even, because neither one of us knew what he was doing. No. There was both... There was about two clean hits the entire time, and that was like... Who's Evan that? Swarping on me. Evan was. Yeah, y'all were going hardcore. I still got the video of you guys like boxing in the basement, too. Whenever me and... Who, me and Adam? No, Evan and Adam. Oh, when me and Adam were boxing, we literally had like four four feet to work with. Yeah. And it was kind of dangerous. Because if one of us would have got knocked down, we'd been in bad shape. Was that me and you? Yeah, this was me and you. This was like, we hydro dipped the crop? I think this was after the video that went viral. Oh, was it? Yeah. So we was doing stuff before? I believe so. A lot of these are just things I pulled from video. I mean, pulled from normal videos. I remember my first ever TikToks done pretty good. And... Dang, I must have posted You've been posting a lot more here lately, too. Yeah. Like I'm banned. Yesterday, I went through and posted a bunch. What'd you get banned for? Posting a video of Kendall tasing me. Well, I got shadow banned, so. Huh. Check this one out. This one done pretty good. Oh, I'm here to cut your grass. <laughs> this is a good one. Hope you're what just happened? It can. What just happened? Oh, there's me running. <laughs> that <laughs> scythe is broke. What happened to it? Mom broke it. How'd you do that? I don't know. I guess wor- she's swarping on something? I guess she's trying to cut the grass. <laughs> I remember my first few TikToks. A scythe is faster grass. than a weed eater. Oh, he is. <laughs> Check this out. This is funny. I go around it. <laughs> <laughs> After baseball practice. Yeah. <laughs> Grass. <laughs> With a sock. I come back, it actually come back and hit me. Right here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be honest, Adam. Looks like you're doing a pretty good job right here. That was a, a funny video. A mower had we didn't so we didn't know a mower had already been there. No, so we brought the scythe because we's fully prepared to go ahead and uh Scythe it herself. Dude, the scythe, if you don't know what a scythe is, scythe is literally just a stick with a blade on it, and you just hack away at grass. Yeah. There's some dude that's pretty good. I still use it today. Here's the horsefly TikTok, but we just watched it. Let's see. Um, I like this one. <laughs> this one? That's not me. No, this is a Do you want ketchup on your hot dog? No. I want mustard. This video is not sponsored by mustard. I that's didn't know you'd even act like that. <laughs> I didn't think you would act like that. I didn't either. <laughs> me and Abram had some good talks though on the boat, like the bathtub. Me and him was on it. Abram, he's a pretty down to earth guy. What bathtub? Oh, the boat. The little boat. Yeah, me and Abram I had a was a conversation a- without you about the bathtub. What? Huh? Huh? Oh, you're skinny. Y'all can't see it. It's a new record. It's skinny. <laughs> He counts to 1 to 50 in only 1.2 seconds. <laughs> he was actually counting. He was pretty good at it. Oh, man. <laughs> I wonder if you guys are enjoying this. If you guys are enjoying this, if you guys can even see. 
what's going on. Tell me in the comments. You want to get really, tased? I really no. need to know. It don't hurt. I bet it does. I it really don't. need to know if you guys can see this and if everything's working okay. Is that one even recording? I think it is. If not, we're If it's not, like, if you can't even see it, I guess you can just enjoy us talking about it. Yeah. Let's see. Our first TikToks that we really started doing together. Oh. Oh, that was that one. That was a good one. That up. This guy, we went fish. Booted. Do we not have video? Oh, <laughs> on iPhone. I think I have the original on my TikTok. That's funny. Let's see. We'll go to some of our newer ones. But then we started up. <laughs> this was George Washington. <laughs> Me and Adam was, it was another summer. And I think it was. Oh, there, there's the pool pond one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We done saw that. Let's see. It was a. Uh, you spelt built wrong. Uh, no. Where? B I U L T. Built. <laughs> hey, hey, it's fine. Uh, but um, uh, let's see. It was. Oh, there he almost died again. When was this? No, I mean, when did we? When did we do all those TikToks? That wasn't last summer. It's like I the think summer it was last as soon summer. as we graduated. And, uh, oh, yeah. we there's the both, money. No, we're not both twenty. I'm 20. I'm 21. Yeah, I'll be 21 probably by the time you watch this. We're not that much different, though. What are you? 19. I'm 19. Young boy. Pretty much. Never broke again, boy. You're an old guy. Let's I'm an old guy. What? But we started doing TikToks. So let me pull up Adams. Let me see. It should be over here. I somewhere. think it was right here, Kendall, when we first started. Was it? Yep. Yeah. And then there's you it, yeah. doing that. And then we started trying really hard. Like, we like come that. out. And we do a lot of TikToks. Let's see that. Hard about the website we yeah. try. It's like where that you was can a good get TikTok. It's got taken down, didn't it? Crazy stuff for cheap. Yeah. But you never know what you can actually get whenever you start looking. Now this isn't a real gun, supposedly, but it can do this. So, uh, but then you turn on the fun switch. That was really cool. I, I Is that the same gun know. that we bought oh, off of Wish for that video? That's a. That's a really funny story because here's the thing. Me and Adam filmed that we filmed entire the whole video. We filmed that entire video, okay? The entire same video that me and Ethan filmed, but all the files were corrupted. So We lost the drone and everything. Oh my gosh. We yeah. had a drone. We had a really cool drone and we had a really cool segment and it was it just flew it, away. It flew away. We was in complete control. Did y'all find it? No. So like it's just it out there. Way. It's just it's oh like the field to the like if you're standing this way towards his house that way. It's just so gone. it's probably in that pond over there towards the cemetery. Uh, Ooh. It might be in Texas right now. Like it was a windy day. Get this off here! I'm getting beat up. Over here. <laughs> it was it was a windy day. The drone just yeeted. It was a predator drone too. And then but yeah that all the files corrupted so me and Ethan had to actually go that, do the same video and that video has like 1.2 million views you missed out Adam oh this was cool this one got actually 3.6 million views and this one we really did a lot of this those. really this inspired us I've ever had. get a slingshot get some firecrackers get a candle ooga booga and now you have a factor cap long range there you go that's close enough long range firecracker launcher that's crazy it was, it, it was right there whenever we i started we well that was like our first one that we did and it started really blowing up and so then we started going pretty hardcore mm -hmm. we done some good ones um yeah let me pull up yours a lot of these tiktoks are really fun oh well another here's another one with three point six that was a million good one. Views. i've got the original mine with the spoon turtle. his name's carl because he kind of looks like one now he's going now we're going to try to see what he does to this uh, i'm kind of scared right now Oh, oh gosh! All right. Well, he ate it. Good job, Carl. Happy New Year's. Hot dog versus snapping turtle. Just little stuff like that done really good on TikTok for us. TikTok doesn't like animal. TikTok doesn't. I like think everything's anything. animal abuse. Yeah, their their rules are pretty tough. TikTok's rules are really tough. Yeah. You can't even have a gun on there. Like that one with the full auto BB gun. Mm -hmm. I remember mine it got, got take. Mine got taken down like twice and I had to keep posting back. Then it got taken down. Then I just left it, and eventually they let it go. Maybe it's because I'm on my account, and I can actually see ones that got taken down. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, we had some good ones. Now let me pull up Adams. Adams is really good. We had, he had a blowout video. Adams actually got how many? 103 and uh, going down. 103,000. It's going down? Yeah, because uh, look at my views. So you can tell where I got shadow banned. Let's see, we got... Three, Why do you get 3, shadow banned? Like, I, I, What's the reason for it? I posted something... Uh, 
political. So then you get shadow banned for something like that. Yeah. We got 3,000, 2,000, 2,000, 4,000. So you'll just see it 4, gradually 000, go down. 13,000, 6,000, 9,000, 64,000 of just me swinging on a tree. Yeah. <laughs> then we got 9,000, 30,000. What was that? Never mind. <laughs> um, 100,000, 12,000, 162,000. Then we got 34,000, 32,000. I mean, you can just see where I've been banned, shadow banned. Yeah, let's go back. And to this that. isn't all. Like, I can see where if it's just you, but this guy's just playing a yo-yo until at thirteen. Yeah, well, so let's go back. Something to some obviously of the, happened. Let's go back to the ones. I got go a wop on first here. First one. A what? I did the wop. Let's see. Where's those first ones that we did that one thing? Where's that one? There's one that done really. Yeah, good. Let's try down here. Millions. Yeah, it's got three point one million. 3.1. I never knew. I've not seen that one yet. Can well, you please play that? So Rupert has oh there's a rare species of fish in this creek right here. So when my dad was a kid, he actually caught one of these in a, in a minnow trap, and he brought it up, and he tried to whip it, and it bit his finger off. Like, yeah. Now he looks like this. Like he bit it off completely, right? So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set this trap here. We're gonna set the trap real slow. Real slow. Come back in 24 hours. Yeah, that was back whenever TikTok was come back in 24 hours for right. thing. This guy said, that is an angler fish, and those do not live. Those- yeah, so the story behind this video is obviously it's not true. I did not, you know, I did not think it was going to get 3.1 million views. But it did. And it did, and I was getting so many comments. Like, where's the fish? Where's the fish? I don't understand why people actually thought that was real. That's a deep sea water fish. Yeah. So I go it's on. A ve- though, even worse than that, it's a very popular deep sea fish which means people could recognize it if you could just pick a random fish that no one really knew what it was they'd maybe think it's a little bit more real all right so i go on live i think that night and i'm at kendall's house and i got 600 people in live on live and they're like give me i don't know give me all kinds of crap and they're like where's the where's the where's the fish where's the fish where's the fish i'll show you later so i'm having so after i get off live i'm having to make up some kind of story like yeah we gotta put a fish in here one really cool thing that you that looking at this you didn't have to do which we were on momentum so we like didn't want to kill it right by the by this video you kissed it up we didn't catch it sorry but then that would have killed momentum all right i'm still trying to you know so we gain had, some followers we had you was gaining a lot yeah. that's where most of these came from but um we where was and that then here? the part two no after that you did you did a <laughs> bunch of more videos try, trying trying to get some, yeah. it off we done one right here ceo of 24 hours it it was just an incubator, and he was like, uh, "The eggs are hatching. Come back in twenty four hours." And um, we filmed the sequel to that video three minutes later because we already the chickens hatched. were already hatched. Yeah, they were already hatched, and we just took an egg that didn't hatch and done it. But that one actually fulfilled your promise. That one did seven hundred sixty two thousand. Yeah, and then you posted this one, which is like part two. So it's been twenty four hours, and we're back here at the trap line. Come back for part three. I promise you will not be mad. <laughs> I put a big thing up here so you can see what an empty. <laughs> oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. That was an empty trap. Who was that in the back? That was you. Who was holding the camera? Evan. Oh, I bet it was Evan. Evan was holding the camera. You was in the back. Yeah. So Evan is his brother. He's also in quite a bit of videos. Not as many as Adam, but he's in a lot of the turtle ones. That's his yeah. favorite thing to do. He loves going turtle hunting. He likes turtle hunting. That and like the Chinese Christmas ones. Like yeah. those. He likes going to Goodwill and stuff just to buy. So. Yeah. All right. We Here need to do is. more of those. Here is part. Here's finally part. Oh, gosh. Here's where, finally where part Where was part four. three? A part three. Oh, I missed part no. three. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, it says, who wants a part four? So this was actually part three. Oh, it was a laughy face, yeah. description of this fish was shiny, orange stripe, and razor sharp teeth. But I believe we may have a juvenile version. But <laughs> long. The one that bit my dad was like nine or eight inches long. And this one does not have any teeth. But it is shiny with the orange stripe. Look at the silver in his hand. And the orange. He is pretty. So we're going to throw him back, though, and hopefully catch him when he gets older. So our acting, we should be in like a movie. Yeah, we should get an Oscar. For that. <laughs> Kendall's like looking up some 
some crazy like details about the fish. Yeah, I was like, um, it's got razor sharp teeth. So after he did that second, after he did the part two where he's like, we got it. I was like, oh, we actually we got. Yeah, we got to show the fish. At first, I was like, let's just get a stuffed animal, throw it in the trap, and then just. Not show it up close, but then he did that, and then he's and then he promised that we show it up close, and then we had to think of something. So then we just caught a regular manner, and I said it was a juvenile. Let's <laughs> see, that was the way out of it. Come back in five years for part four. Nathan <laughs> said I unfollowed. Yeah, I got a lot of that. Huh. Okay. Why are you Why are you following me for that one video anyway? Huh? They followed me for that one video. I mean, they wanted to see what happened, and they wanted to see you catch the angler fish. Oh, sorry. Come back in five years for four. four. Say, you're saying, so you're saying a baby buffalo carp grows up to be an angler fish? Of course. You're straight capping. <laughs> Come on now, it's a minner. <laughs> of course it's capping. What else I got? We got, um. Is does like, anyone realize it's a joke? Thank you. But then we didn't help it, because we were like, dude, it's not a joke. Yeah. Man, have you made any more? Have you, do you have any more plans to make TikToks? Most of the TikToks on my TikTok account are from school, like stuff I had saved in my Snapchat memories. Yeah, that's what I did. I just put. That's I still do that. He's like, like now, I'll go through. I'll go through once a month and just dump out every video on my phone. Now, I'm gonna try to get more consistent though. Let's watch the dancing one. I wanna see Adam dance really quick. All right, we'll watch it. Did you make that? Yeah. I mean, oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's going on We're right dancing. there? We're dancing. What's going on? We're dancing. <laughs> Let's see. That's probably copywritten. Probably is. Sorry. Yeah, anyways. um, Go see the WAP. Huh? I can turn that down. We ain't gonna do it. <laughs> um, What you thinking about anything? What you gotta say? You got anything on your mind? Do I have anything on my mind? Yeah. About what topic? About anything. anything. Let me ask you about this. What do you think about the podcast set, and what can we do differently? I'm, I'm waiting for these people to comment. Some of them's already commented, some of them's not yet. But I'm going to go back and read their comments and see what they think about the TV. The TV we might have to change, because looking at that camera... Is there is there a way that you can cook, hook the camera up to the TV? And then when you're showing something, it goes straight to that camera. I'm sure there is, but that, I mean. Like, you know, have the HDMI connected to the to the camera. Yeah, I'm sure we could do that, but I'm just I'm just waiting to see what we can do, guys. Hey, Kendall, can I ask Adam this fan question? Not yet. Save it, and we're going to do that right here in just a second. I just got to say someone straight up called you out. <laughs> Y'all can also see from the wide camera, we have the TV, and we also got all these wires here. And that's because the podcast set's not actually official. A lot I had, I seen some comments that were like, "I'm glad they're doing the podcast because now they're actually, I can tell they're actually human." Like, yeah. Yeah. We're not perfect. This is us and our normal. We're normal here. Yeah. Look at all these wires. Do you think we're <laughs> professional? No. No. I bought the. We need some cable management. Yeah, we do. We're waiting on zip a, ties. We're waiting on a good table to where we can put them all under it. But right now we got this. Temporary table. What you gotta think. Look from look from the first podcast to the cameras you had. Yeah, dude. The first to the pod, mics. The first podcast we had. The first podcast was on like one of those cameras and the webcam, which was really bad. And then we also had really bad mics in a really bad location, and we didn't have microphones. Then we upgraded up here, and we had these microphones, no stands. I was in a wheelchair. Yeah. At and like one camera or something. Then we finally yeah, upgraded. Too. Now what we have now is we have good microphones, we have headphones, we have a TV, which is crazy, even though it, you may not be able to see it. The bad thing about the, having a TV is for people who want, listen to it like on like Apple or Spotify. Yeah, if you guys are listening to audio only, which is totally fine if you are, We just the only thing is we just have to explain what's going right, on. Right, yeah. And we even kind of need to explain what's going on to these people because they may not be able to see the TV too good. We won't really find out until editing, until after we post it, so that you guys can give us feedback. But we're going to try to make this a really cool podcast set, obviously without spending a bunch of money, because no one wants to do that. And we don't have a bunch of money to See, just spend on a podcast. We still ain't adjusted like TV brightness settings and stuff like that, so that might be a issue yeah, that during might the be edit. 
that might be like a pretty big issue actually we're learning and you guys are here with us we'll figure it out Let's eventually go ahead, jump into some fan questions go ahead and ask that fan question you have we're going to ask adam lay one of the first people on the channel actually let's do this first what was it like being on the channel at was, the early oh it was fun I, I still to this day i go to like my bro, i go to baseball tournaments and i i get people like are you from kendall's gray's videos and i've signed autographs why why would you want my autograph <laughs> how many people is taking pictures with you a lot really yeah that's crazy and a lot of them say can you facetime kendall gray right they'll say can you text kendall gray or um can you tell him to say hi can you follow me it's just stuff what like that say? tell him to call me yeah, I mean, actually, here's a funny story. Where's Kendall at? Yeah, where's Kendall at? I don't know. <laughs> so, on my barber cam... Oh, gosh, I don't know if I should say this or not. Um, so, on my... If you go on my barbershop's Facebook, there's a number. It's not my number, so if you try to call in looking for me, it's not me. But there's a number on it, and people call it all the time. Well, they actually call customer service for Kendall Gray Outdoors, and they always ask for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not me. Who Whenever it, it says customer service, it's actually customer service. We can't say any of that. We ain't going to say any of that. It's our customer uh, service department. Yeah. We we ain't going to say who it is or where they're at, but like... Down in the I, call center. I know for a fact that they Down call... Indiana? Yeah. yeah, it's not even in Kentucky, <laughs> so... Yeah. It but is. That, but, but they'll call, they'll but call yeah. his number and they'll be like, is Kendall there? It, he'll get a number and it'll be like... From Georgia or something. It's like, is Kendall there? And a bunch of stuff like that. I'm like, nope, why not Jax? <laughs> that's how they do with customer service a lot. But, like, it's really not me. No. I don't. That's It says customer service. I'm not customer service. I just He's Kendall. Much. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, like, did you have fun making video? Of course, yeah. They're well, still fun. Yeah. We don't really take it that serious because we're all going to die. Well, we're get, we get older. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, you know, we, we get older and we don't do... I don't know. I'm trying to say. Yeah, what are you trying to say? Like the fishing stuff. You know, we don't do that. You don't do that near as much anymore. Yeah, I know. I need to, but I mean, it's just back then we'd go out and we'd make we'd go men trapping and get bit by a fly and make that an entire yeah. video. Here's the question. Yeah, we've got older and you all have got older, obviously. Or, if you yeah. say we started obviously about five years ago, four years ago, probably about five years ago. So yeah. you was about five years younger. Are you still watching to this day, or is it new 14, like, is it new audiences? That's a good question. How, guys? It, like, are you all 16? Because you're made, your most audience is what? Yeah. You're, younger. Under yeah, under 20. 10 to 16? Yeah. Younger than that? Roughly in there. That's it. Are you all still watching, or is it new? Yeah. New 12-year-olds. How long have you been watching? Because we may have some people that started watching when they were 12 and maybe still been And now they're 16 watching. And there may be someone who just started watching last month, and there's probably the 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 main range. I'd say I have the main range, the core range is probably eight to sixteen. But there's obviously people. I mean, you our got age. some. You got grown ups too. Yeah, there's all all ages of people watch them. Just the most is that younger age. I think one reason is because I'm a clean channel. Right. I don't do dumb stuff. Well, don't say dumb stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. We do dumb stuff. Maybe. Depends on what dumb stuff is. Tasing me. Well, that's Laying the back of a truck. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't probably a good idea. Usually we'll tell you guys not to do it if it's not a good We're idea. We're done by professionals. Yeah, we are professionals. I'll go ahead and exit this off and we'll see if that helps the TV any. You guys that are watching this, like, y'all gotta think. Y'all are literally here in the beginning of something that may turn out to be something great one day. We're already the number one podcast in this house. In Knox County. Probably not. We don't know, actually. Southeast Kentucky. Oh, that's even bigger. Oh, no, I'm definitely I'm definitely the biggest podcast in my family. But, <laughs> now let's get into some fan questions. I got this one. What you think about men are trapping? Men are trapping, that was always a go-to. That was a go-to. It was easy. We was good and, at it. it. Good, well, I don't know if it was good, but <laughs> it was fun. It worked. What kind of men are trapping videos did we used to do? Like, what would we do? Would the whole video literally just be it setting the trap? Setting the trap and coming back and getting it. That's it. Yeah. Or most of the time, we'd set the trap and take them to the pool pond. That's true. And whenever we get our pool pond, we can do more videos like that. I feel like now I'm trying to make more complete videos instead of just having normal videos. Like, setting a men are trap, I don't know. 
when it'd get back into stuff like that. Absolutely. Why are we not naturally getting back into stuff like that? I will Because you don't want thing. to. I don't like fishing as much as I did. But you're not fishing. Huh? What? You're just put, you're not fishing, though. And men are trapping? Right. Yeah, I don't like, I don't, people ask about bass fishing. I don't really like bass fishing that much anymore. I'm not a fan of it. Well, I don't, I don't just like, like the thought of going, what? It's just like this. You get a job, and it's obviously Kendall's job is to go fishing. If he's going to make a video, that's his job. Yeah. You know, you don't, I mean, ask your parents. They may, they, they may love their job, but they don't want to get up every day and go do their job. Yeah. I think the biggest thing about fishing is since it is kind of my job. Work becomes work no matter what it is. Yeah. The one thing about fishing, though, is it can sometimes be unreliable. Like if first, I'm needing a video to stay on schedule and stuff. Fishing's probably not the best thing to go do that. Because fishing, as you guys know, is not catching. So you can go fishing a lot, and not catch anything, and that's just kind of tough. Whenever you really when you have to have a video happen. and you go go fishing and don't catch nothing, and there yeah, goes the whole of, day ruined. That's kind of sketchy, kind of rough. Which I mean, if I don't post a video, sometimes that's okay because it's okay. But also fishing, I just even if it wasn't for YouTube, fishing's okay. But I still don't like whenever I go fishing and don't catch anything. It's still not. I don't, I'm the type of guy now that if I don't catch fish, I don't necessarily like fishing. I think that's where most humans are. Like anybody, if they like, if they if they if they're catching fish, they're gonna like fishing. But if they're not catching fish, fishing's not exactly that fun. I agree. But no, there is a lot of people who really like fishing, and they're having fun even if they don't catch fish. And that just takes a person who likes fishing. And I don't know. I like fishing whenever I'm catching stuff. I'm not any good at fishing. I'm a city boy. Remember, I don't know how to tie a hook on. Do you really not? No. <laughs> yeah. I remember we went with Trey. No, it was with you. And you... <laughs> oh, lost the pole. No, somebody lost the pole in the water. Remember that? I think it was you on the power lines. And then... So he, he was up on a bank fishing in a pond. Threw it over the power lines. And then... And just, then somebody catches a fish. And I go down there and try to help him. And you let go of the pole. And I let go of the pole. And, and the went, pole whoop. just goes and hanging in the middle. That was on a video. Mm-hmm. That was a good video, too. I also remember when Trey broke your bow. Yeah, he broke my bow. It was just a D loop, though. It came back and right in the face. Good. Busted his lip, lost an arrow in the process. That was also the video I couldn't pull a bow back, so don't go back and watch it. Yeah, that was a good one. It's pro- I think it's probably called Trey Broke My Bow. <laughs> that was an old one. That was an old one. That was probably one. four years ago. That was way back. Yeah. You know, we started off with, uh, did you ever, was you with me whenever I was using my mom's camera, the 480p, mm-hmm. the really old one? That was a rough camera. Then we upgraded to the Canon G85. I remember that one. It was small. It was it was good. Yeah. Is that the one that's still sitting down there? Yeah. And we went with one of those big ones up there. No. No? Then, well, then we moved to a Canon M50, which is He's bigger. He's talking but we, Then we moved up to this one, which is a Lumix G85. Then we moved up to a Canon EOS R. It's three mean, dude. The new one is mean. I don't know nothing about them. Yeah. Wait till, my you, phone. wait till you see it. Dude, if you guys are wanting to start out being YouTubers, doesn't catch them all fishing just use his phone? There's a lot of people. Whistling Diesel is a good example of that. You know who Whistling Diesel is? Mm-mm. Well, he's just a channel that more cars related and trucks related. If you guys are wanting to start a YouTube channel, use your phone to start out with. You can get a rig that can hook it up to your chest. The only biggest thing with your phone is storage space. So my suggestion would be to go into your settings, turn it to where it... It uh, takes up less data, filming like a lower frame rate, maybe in 720p, save some space. And then once you get done, you can hook it up to a computer, whatever the plug-in thing, transfer it on the computer, edit it with iMovie or something like that, or whatever the other free thing is on PC, or you can even edit it on your phone and make a video like that. There's a lot of YouTubers who film completely on phones and edit on phones too iMovie's hard to edit on, though. I think it is. Everything can be done with practice. I say film on the phone by Final Cut Pro once. That's $300, though. I mean... $300? But if you're really set to do that, though, I mean, $300 one time, I mean... It ain't bad, but if you're no. just starting out... You gotta think $300 and you're six, 14, 15... Yeah. That's, Christmas That's mom and pre- daddy's money. That's Christmas present, man. Well, they don't want to have a 
Christmas present. They can just use their phone, edit on iMovie. They can figure it out. If they want it bad enough, they don't can Don't ask me. Out. I don't know how. I want to go try to edit a full video now on iMovie. Like, I'm going to film one later myself and try to edit that and just see how hard it would be. <laughs> Adam gets fan pages to edit his. Yeah. I, she's not around no more, though. You don't know why. I don't know why. Huh? She would edit my stuff for me, though. That was really cool. Your videos or pictures? My videos. Like, my little TikToks I would film. That's cool. Yeah. Let's see. What kind of questions do you I, have for Adam? I got one. Ask him. Oh, Lord. Where are the amazing Barbara videos we were promised, Adam? Well, who was promised? I don't know. The question just says, the, where are the amazing Barbara videos we were promised? I don't cut no hair. Hmm? <laughs> well, so I usually cut about 15 heads a day. Yeah. And I don't feel comfortable. Filming, people. filming random. Like if it's somebody I know. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll go live on Instagram and, and cut yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that, but. Not really had enough time to get into creating a full video and cutting hair. Right. Because you're just now getting started too. Right. Maybe if you get comfortable with how many heads you're cutting. And then and I have to edit. Like I said, I just don't. Know. I don't know how to edit. Yeah. Like he, edit he can takes always up a lot of time. Later. Let's see. Here's a good question. How did you meet KG? How did we not get into that so far? Oh, we met. Through school. Yeah. What grade? Hey, I'll tell you this. Yeah. Me and Kendall used to be big WWE fans. Mm-hmm. So, I think we had a little date night. Like, uh, what? I wouldn't say date night. <laughs> <laughs> a play date. Where was it at? Your house. Here? Yeah. I bring my... So, we bring action figures to school. That was... And that we would trade. Was, we would trade action figures. Was, and we'd come... sixth grade? That was sixth grade. Oh, gosh. Yeah, well, that was third grade. Was it? No, it was sixth. I just don't want to sound like a weirdo. We actually met though in what? Probably kindergarten. Yeah, we went to school. I Pretty got held. I got held back in first grade. And then I got held back in third. Third grade. grade, so probably third. But no, I skipped preschool. Did we'll you go to preschool? Yeah. Who Who was your preschool teacher? Miss Star. Oh, I had I had Vicky. Miss, I had Miss Beth. I had yeah. Beth too. I had two years of preschool. Beth's cool. Let's see though. Um. Anyways, yeah. So we'd bring our action figures to school and trade them. And I remember I had like the Undertaker and the Kane. You had two John Cena's. Two John <laughs> Cena's. <laughs> and um, I had Kofi King. So we came. We we'd come to Kendall's house and. Pow pow. pow. Did you have the ring? Yes, I did. I we, did too. We had the ring. We'd sit there and fight down here with our figures. We well, going at it. And then, dude. then my brother sold all mine in a good in a yard yard sale <laughs> for like five dollars or like fifteen dollars for just to they have were expensive. one. Do you still have yours? I have no idea. I, I seen one laying around one. here somewhere. I better have a good one. My favorite one was Carlito. Carlito. He had an apple. <laughs> he had the. He had like a lot of joints, so he could really move. Mm-hmm. My fa- my favorite was Mike Mysterio. I had the Big Show. Oh, that I had that a Big was Show too. Cool. Mark Henry. I had Umaga. Umaga, yeah. I had a Rey Mysterio, like that one, and Jeff Hardy. Yeah, my first one I ever had was Hulk Hogan. I popped his head off. My first one was Carlito. <laughs> really. I didn't have John Cena until I got him from you. Was he got the black shorts? Yeah. Yeah. He actually had something where you could squeeze his legs and his arm would go up. Yeah. Did anyone ever have the Miz? I had the Miz. No. No. Uh, yeah, I did. I know who my favorite wrestler was. Who was yours? Rey Mysterio. John Cena. Ryback. Feed me more. Have you seen that dude on... That was 2012. Yeah, that was right that was, was yeah. in it. You seen that guy on TikTok now? Who? Ryback. Ryback's a beast. He is I huge. I back and watched some of his... His like debut, so awesome, and the shield. No, you know he wasn't the Ryback what do you mean? when he first started. Oh yeah, he was somebody random. Whenever he debuted as Ryback, I went back and watched those videos. They're crazy. Yeah, they're good. I don't know if WWE still locked that. I don't have time to watch it. Hold on, let me ask y'all one question. Did anyone have the Great Khali? I remember trying to look for that one at Walmart, like everywhere. That I action have, figure. Yeah. He was a giant, wasn't he? Yeah, like the guy from India. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have him. that one. I had, I had quite a few, but I don't think I had him. We were nerds. Hey, WWE <laughs> is not a nerd when you're in sixth grade. We was we was had our backpacks full trading too. Yeah, we did. Is Kendall a cool guy? Yeah, Kendall's a cool guy. Yeah. He'll be my wedding when I get married. If I ever get married, I will. He'll be my wedding. You don't know that for sure. You may die. That's true. What's your favorite fast <laughs> food? Raising canes. Oh gosh! If you ever you don't like it, no. Raising cane sauce is the best sauce ever. 
I do think you, they need to calm down on their sauce. Do you put like the um the bread, like you put the chicken on it and the cane sauce and fries? No, I'll just dip everything in that sauce. I'll get like three extra sauces. I'll spend like fifteen dollars on well, sauce. I'll get the caniac, yeah, the six tenders, and I'll get like four <laughs> other sauces. One I, sauce per chicken tender. I make them a sandwich. Like I'll take the bread. I get two pieces of bread, bread, chicken, fries, sauce. Smash them together. There you go. You need to try it. Why aren't you in videos anymore? I have a job. He is in videos, I feel like. Not in many no more. Oh, I remember. You you have a lot we have a lot of opportunities to be in videos and we film the videos. But nothing actually well, happened. Well, I was in quite a bit of videos, but nothing ever happened. Yeah. We was in like a lot. Like this past I don't know, past whenever. Last few I don't know, like the last year we've been in, we've done a lot of videos. Just none of them's actually worked out. Like we went. I think the last hunting. one I was in. Well, yeah, the deer Probably hunting. Probably deer one. hunting some. But or we the Chinese went, Christmas. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that but is true. That never got to get posted. No, but we went deer hunting. What eight times? Mm-hmm. Same one deer and two coyotes or something like that. Yeah, one coyote and used to sleep. I didn't get to shoot it because all I had was a pistol and a crossbow. He was asleep. Yep. It's too early. It's too cold. He was like, dude. I was like, we gotta be quiet. Here. She's like, dude, no, they can't. <laughs> like, yeah, they can. Like, they can smell you too. <laughs> no, they can't. They can't smell me. <laughs> Hunting's not my thing. We're gonna kill you deer though this year if you want to go. Mammy go. killed a deer. You have to. Mammy did. Did kill Mammy a deer. really kill a deer? Yes, she yes. did. The video was up about it. I saw the video. That's a good video. There's, we're there's gonna proof. get you a deer though, hundred percent, because we're going to have them mapped out. We're going to know exactly where they are and when they're there. Have you seen the new food plot back there yet? Mm-hmm. You'll be impressed. I'll have to go look at it before I leave. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a good little I got spot. a question. Yeah. When did y'all ask these questions? Huh? When did y'all ask for... I never seen it. We put it on... about two hours ago. Oh, I thought you look on Instagram. So. Also, funny little story. This podcast, we supposed to film it at 9. Uh, we started filming at 12 because my power went out. And I got busy. Well, yeah, my power went out. We postponed it to roughly 10. Savannah's was out, too. Yeah. And so then at 10, my power came back on, and then he was like, well, I'm fixing a tire. Me and Ethan, we don't actually think you fixed the tire. No. We put a spare on. We don't believe that you, you actually did it, though. We think you watched. Before the No, pa- I did. <laughs> we don't believe that. Me and him literally sat here, and I was like, is Adam supervising, or is he the one changing it? He's definitely not the I one did. changing it. I, should, I took a picture, didn't I? No, no. <laughs> oh, I started to say Yeah. That. You sent me a picture of it. You sent a picture of the jack. We about... <laughs> We about filmed this podcast all on a generator this morning. Dude, we had the generator ready. Was it working? It was. It's technically a power... A power bank. Power bank. But yeah, Is it, it the one that you have in your... I think it would have worked. Yeah, I was like... He was texting me. He's like, let's wait. I was like, dude, you got a generator. And he's like, come on up. Come on up. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about it. But then it, it probably totally powered a little bit of this stuff. I would have been dead by now. Like, generator would have been. Why is he so annoying? Adam? Hmm. He's not. I don't think I'm annoying. I don't either. But I can be. (laughs) Oh, what is the redneck word of the day? You can pull one up if you need to. Yeah, I got to pull one up. All right. He's going to pull one up. I was mowing whenever you sent that, so I never got to. We, we, We should make a compilation of all Adam's redneck word of the days. Those are good. Pull us up a bunch and we'll just go after one after another. While you're pulling that up, I'm going to ask Ethan a question. Ask it. Why don't you get a mullet? Why? I, well, I had one, and then I realized, I was like, I don't I don't like things touching the back of my neck. I mean, Hoodie? I don't like hoodies for that reason. <laughs> I don't. I can't say that one. But honestly, I, like I just said earlier in the podcast, I don't, the 80s are the 80s. Let them stay in the 80s. I mean, there's everybody. That's a reason. But then also, you remember when I when I kind of had one started? Well, once I had one, it seemed like everybody was getting mullets. Everybody. And I was like, it's just not cool if everybody everybody around here yeah. is just going to start getting them now. So what's the point in having it if everybody else has one? Everybody so. around here gets a mullet. Yeah, that's no joke. Mm-hmm. You go to Walmart... You see eight year olds and mullets. Um, I go twenty year olds with them. I go to church with a boy. He's really young. His mullet, he makes it look good. Yeah, he he is authorized to have a mullet. 
No. Not until it you're is. about not until you're about forty. You ain't seen him. I know a guy that I know a guy. I'll show you he's had a mullet his whole life and he's like fifty. <laughs> like it's straight up gray mullet. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the only reason. Like I don't dislike them. I just don't want to be like everyone else. Adam, you're 21. Are you thinking about getting a gun to carry? Yeah. Do you have any idea what you're wanting? We still got to like go to have that, a Glock. We still got to go to that concealed carry class in Here, Kentucky. But here's the thing about yeah. Why do we need a concealed carry in Kentucky? Well, in Kentucky, we don't need a license to concealed carry. But to go carry. out of the state. Yeah, but if to. we get the concealed carry license, we can go to other states and we'll be fine. Don't know how much you're planning on going to other states. Where are they going? But if you do... I mean, if you go on vacation. Yeah, if you do, you can conceal a gun legally and be all right. I think I'll... I don't know. If, I'll probably do it whenever you do it. I can't say none of these. You just get one of the good ones. Even if it's one that you've already done before. <laughs> Twerk. What's your favorite gun? Mine. Of of mine. Of yours. Did you ever shoot the fifty? I never got shot the fifty, but let's see. AK forty seven is pretty sweet. We killed you a squirrel. Do you remember that? Yeah, I shot it right out of a tree. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. What is my favorite gun of you? Have you seen the spaz yet? No, I'm not seeing a lot of them. Spaz twelve. Straight out of Call of Duty. It's Black Ops. It's pretty crazy. (laughs) I got one. It's Let's pretty dumb. It. Redneck word of the day. How do you want me to say it? Redneck word. <laughs> redneck word of the day. Urine. <laughs> if you mess with me and my cousins, you're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> redneck word of the day. There's a funny. What's in that McDonald's cup? I don't know what they talk about. What McDonald's cup? What McDonald's you drinking? What do you get at McDonald's? Sweet tea. Mm, that's probably what was in the cup then. McDonald's tea's good. What's your dream car? Uh, Kia Stinger. Really? Really? Yes. Is that on the? Is that on the list? Yeah, I'll I'll have it by next year. I know where yeah. you Stinger's at with twelve thousand miles. Yeah, but I like the new the new logo they got. The Kia's got this is logo. a twenty one model. Is it? Yeah. How much? Like thirty three. That's too much. That's a lot for a car. I've got a Dodge Charger. I mean, I like. I don't have it yet, but I can get it for $22,000. What's for Ace? The V6. He doesn't like Chargers. Who? You don't like you. Chargers? I don't like it. If it ain't got a Chevrolet bow tie on it, I will not own it. <laughs> will you own anything? Not a Volkswagen. Yeah, I don't blame you there. I would not. I'm usually a Chevy person, but like, I don't know... Why? You're a GMC guy. Yeah, same thing. Generic made Chevrolet. <laughs> Great mountain climber. Yeah. I would definitely take a Ford electric F-150. Listen, I have a Kia car right now. I've never had a problem with it. It's a, It's been a great car. I like it. Do you? It has a sport mode, eco sport mode. Sport mode, eco mode. What else? That's it. That okay. eco mode eco mode's probably pretty nice. Yeah, I get 34 miles a gallon. I get four. That's awful. Yeah, I get I get eleven. Did he just say he would have a Ford electric truck? Yeah. You, you see the new Ford F one fifties? The lightning. Those it's garbage. <laughs> How like, do you know that? There it's if it says Ford on it, it's it's garbage. My tractor's a Ford and my lawnmower. Your tractor is a long You have a lawnmower that's a Ford? Yeah. Used to it blew up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How bad are your eyes? Though they're pretty bad. Can you put them to a camera? Huh? What do I put them to the camera? Alright. Would it show? Yeah, I'll probably do that. Like, I'm Adam with glasses, and I'm somebody else with not glasses. glasses. I look totally different. I'll go cross eyed. I'm just kidding, I don't. Check this out. How bad is Adam's eyes? They're probably dirty. That's how bad Adam's eyes is. I got big eyes when I got them on. That's why I got contacts. I can't do contacts. Uh, why not? Adam's eyes are so bad that whenever he looks through that, it fixes them. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wear who glasses. Is, who said that? Some, let me find his name. I'll, I'll I'm going to call him out. I'm going to call him Braden Price, too. I think it's Shaking his head about come getting a haircut for me. 
You know what you should do? You should get, you know those apps uh, like Snapchat how can like put a filter on you? You should get a filter with all the different haircuts and like let people flip through them. Yeah, that's weird what you could look like. Huh? You could look like this. You could look like that. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Instead of pointing to a poster. Do you have one of those? No. Don't get one of those. No. Those are sketchy. That's like 1950s. Like going to your papa's barbershop. Yeah. yeah. Point it with, what number you want? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Say, pull it up on your phone. What you want. Man, what you thinking? What else we got? What's your favorite knife? Obviously, the KG pocket knife. Yeah, the KG pocket knife. They're sharp. Very sharp. I've had a couple of them. Speaking of the KG pocket knife, this video is actually sponsored by KindleGrade1.com slash shop. If you want to buy a KG pocket knife, you can buy one. I need to buy something today. You need to buy something? What do you want to buy? A neon green fishing backpack. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's also sponsored by the KG Neon Green Fishing Backpack. Those things are legit. What's your favorite fish to catch? Or animal to hunt? None favorite? of them. What's your favorite thing to do at Kendall Gray? Well, favorite thing to do when I come to Kendall's is meet, play with the goats. Yeah, you like Or the pool pond. Kanye. Okay, pool pond. Oh, the tur- I've, not seen, I've not even seen the turkey since you let it out. Ooh, we just wait on Kanye. It's been a long time. Honestly, pool ponds. Pool ponds are next level stuff. Yeah. And so is the farm. I don't know about the goats. Should I get rid of them? No. No, I don't no. want to get rid of them. I just, I definitely need more though. We need, we need sheep. Yeah, we need like, we need like three sheep for that's not a mini horse. If anybody owns a farm out here and has a sheep, a, a female sheep, or a mini donkey, or a mini donkey, mini horse, no, hit us up. Yeah. Because we need, we would be takers. I have so much... So much land. Well, not necessarily so much land, but I have so much fenced in for three goats that I literally have to mow it. Right. Yeah. And I, that you shouldn't have to mow... Listen, I wouldn't care to have an emu. I wouldn't either, but I don't have a place to put one yet. Oh. Actually, I do. By the bunker. Oh, yeah. How much is an emu? Why Let's not just, find that out. Why not just a full-blown ostrich? Well, they're dangerous yeah. and very huge. Emus are. Let me figure out how big an emu is. You know how Dude Perfect dropped the. They had like an egg drop. Yeah. I think it'd be a fun idea. With an emu egg. Yeah. That'd be crazy. Is it like? Is that kind of like the high school where uh, you would build you like the ball. cage yeah. around it? Yeah. Yo, an emu may be on my list, dude. They're probably not too bad. Like no kidding. How much does an emu cost? I don't know. It's showing me Eastern Michigan University. That ain't gonna help me none. Comment below if we should get emu. Like no kidding. Also, comment below and say, like, a potato or something if you're actually watching over an hour into this. If you're watching right now, please comment. We're an hour into it? We're, like, an hour and a half into it. No way. Yeah, this it's is... time to eat. It's 11. It's one twenty-one. Time to eat. Yeah. I, I've not ate since I've not ate yesterday either. at lunch. You fasting? No. Oh. Here's a question. <laughs> I thought you, you was on your them. diet. On a diet? Yeah, you was not trying to... I'm on a seafood diet. I see food, I eat it. Oh. <laughs> Here's a question for you, Adam. What question was you hoping that we asked you today? What question was I hoping you would ask me? Yeah, is there anything that you really was wanting to get off your chest? <laughs> it's a pretty open question. It is. I was hoping for like a job. At Kendall Gray Outdoors? Yeah. We could open up a barber shop segment. Now, here's a question for you. Yeah. When are we going to cut your hair on video? I'm always ready. What if we cut it? What if you we done another episode like this to where you cut and we did a podcast slash ASMR while you was cutting it? Right. Because this, this is a mobile setup. We can move this anywhere. We could literally move it in the shop. Mm-hmm. I could set off a day aside like a Monday because I'm off on Monday. Yeah, Monday or like an evening after you close. Mm-hmm. We could do it. I you need a cut haircut. You mine your ethan. You do. Uh, Both of our hairs. And we cut yours. Oh. You cut mine? Yeah. I, I ain't taking that responsibility. Uh, let me tell you this. I'll let you cut my hair only if you use a straight razor, too. Because I go to this barber shop. Put on your face? Yeah, because I go to this one, and I'll be like, because I want the back of my neck straight razor, too. Mm-hmm. And he'll pull out the clippers. I'm like, no, I want you to use the straight razor. Well, you use a straight razor on your neck. 
You messed up whenever you said this other barber shop I go oh, what, to. What are you doing going to another barber shop? Yeah, that shouldn't I, even. Actually, be Actually, I've never even cut Ethan's hair. So. That's what I know. Why? I don't know. It's. Just, I guess it's just like because usually I'm never down here. I guess you're down here every day. Yeah. 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 But the last time I've had a haircut's been a while. It's true. Actually, I guess, the last time he got a haircut, I think he's on vacation. Yeah, the last time I get a haircut, my mom's like, you need to go get a haircut. <laughs> That's about whenever I go to. But now it's Adam telling me you need to go get a haircut. Yep. But it's you need to come get a haircut. Anyways, guys, I think we may end it right here. What do we want for lunch? It's about time. It's about time for lunch. What do we want to eat? I, gotta, do want? I still got to mow. You got to mow? Okay. But I can for a little bit. Mexican. Well, boys, subscribe to the podcast if you want to subscribe to the podcast. Next guest, I have no idea who it's going to be, but it'll be somebody pretty cool. Maybe. Did you say that about me? No. No. Bye. Wave bye, Adam. I'll be back in videos soon, hopefully.